This conference will now be recorded. <clears throat> Rob let us know this afternoon that he's heading to the airport to pick up his son, so he won't be joining us. I see Danny and Kevin online. Hello there. Hi, Danny. Hi, how are you doing? Very well. How about you, Kevin? Can you hear us okay? I can hear you fine. Can you hear me? Great. Yeah, you're doing good. So when I go to another, when I go to another yeah. screen, you pause. It your cuts the video. That's agitating. Yeah, I know. I couldn't figure out how to do that. So I just you can double screen. Yeah. Over. You have really been getting into this. No, not really. I figured that it. I listened oh. to that little thing that told okay. you when you turned it on. It told you that. Have you learned the little swipe overs to where it makes them little boxes that you can kick off to the uh, side? I don't know. I'm not really that good at this. I need, need to lessons. have Rob come in and teach us a class. Yeah, Rob. Because this is all right. It's different. It is seven o'clock. Welcome everyone to the December 17th DeSoto City Council meeting. Let's we'll start with roll call. Lane. Here. Hannah Michael. Present. Murdoch. Here. Ritter. Here. And Councilman Daniels is absent this evening. Okay. I would invite you all to please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation. Under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our first item tonight is a public hearing on our budget amendment. Yes, Council, it is. We, we've uh, advertised for tonight for the public hearing on the budget amendment we discussed at the December 5th meeting. Uh, there's no new information on that. I gave a, a presentation and a staff report on that uh, at that time. Um, just a, a general summary, um, we do need amendments to the general fund, primarily for CARES Act expenses that, that, that come through and will be reimbursed. Uh, we need a, an amendment to the refuse fund, primarily because of an increase in um, service accounts, commercial service accounts that resulted in uh, more billings and therefore more um, more payments to our refuse vendor. And we also need an amendment to the water fund, primarily because of a line removal project that was uh, slated to take place last year that actually took, took place this year. Um, in terms of dollar amounts, um, the actual when the, the, the state budget forms are attached to the, to the uh, staff report. Um, those are the official documents that we'll have to submit to the county and then to the state. Uh, for the general fund, we're increasing about 191,000. For the refuse fund, we're increasing about 45,000. And for the water fund, increasing about 41,000. As I reported last time, the fund balances are, on all those funds are, um, are will will end the year better than we projected them at the beginning of the year. So these are more than offset by increases in revenues, but uh, statutory requirement, we are going to exceed the budget amount, so we need to do this this process. Um, 
after the public hearing is opened and closed, um, then we'll ask you to take action on it later on. Okay. Uh, with that introduction, then I will officially open the public hearing on the budget amendment. Anyone wish to address the body on the public on the public on the amendment? Anybody on the meeting? I don't see anybody on the meeting except uh, council members. Okay. I see the same. So having no one present and no one online, I'll close the public hearing. And we'll move on. Consent agenda, approve the minutes from our council meeting of December 3rd, approve pay ordinance 892 and approve annual renewal of cereal malt beverage licenses with the city. Any discussion of, a, of these items or a motion to approve? I'll make the motion to approve the consent agenda. I'll second. All right, we have a motion and a second. Yes. Any discussion? If not, roll call, please. Lane? Yes. Hannah Michael? Yes. Ritter? Yes. Murdoch? Yes. Thank you, Council. Motion carried. Okay. Uh, having no one present and no one online, I'm going to dispense with reading the call to public statement. But if we had anybody, this is where we would let them speak. Item three, old business, we have none, so we'll move on to item four A. Consider bids for street shop 2021 CIP items. Yes, council, we're getting an, an early start on these items. Um, Steve Chick and Ron Creason have been licking their chops for more new goodies at the street shop. Um, if you'll remember, we actually have fifty-five thousand dollars budgeted in the CIP for next year, and um, and that that was intended for a two-post lift to go in the bay next to the large truck lift that we installed this year. Uh, we thought that was going to cost about fifty-five thousand dollars. As it turns out, there's some money to do some some more stuff in there so we have pricing for the lift and we also have pricing to fix some more of the fencing around the perimeter on the, on the west sides and the east sides um, the fencing contractors indicated that there will be a materials increase at the first of the year so we wanted to get this under contract before the first of the year even though we won't spend any money until next year um, and it'll all come out of the cip so um Put Steve in charge of getting bids for that. He got three bids uh, from three fence companies, as you can see there. He did include um, the bids themselves in the staff report. The summary there, uh, Lindsay, Challenger, and Allied all submitted. Allied was the low bidder on that part. Um, the two post lift, which is a lift that will, will help us lift uh, essentially the on road trucks, the pickup trucks. The large truck lift is, is sometimes it's a little bit too wide for some of those trucks, but also um, just its its size is just too bulky to work with um, when you're working on the smaller vehicles. So the two plus lift, um, we did get two bids from that. The low bidder for that is Automotive Equipment Solutions for 14104. So um, what we're asking for approval on tonight is those two bids. From Allied in the amount of 29,547.24, and from Automotive Equipment in the amount of 14,104.87. Those total up to 43,652.11. Okay, questions for Mike on the uh, bids? Danny or Kevin, anything from the remote side? No. I'm good, Mayor. Thank you. Somebody want to make a motion? Yeah, I'll make a motion. We accept the bids um, from Allied Defense and Security Kansas Corporation for twenty-nine thousand five hundred forty-seven and twenty-four cents, and Automotive Equipment Solutions for fourteen thousand one hundred four dollars and eighty-seven cents. I'll second that. All right, we have a motion and a second. Um, did you get the folks on that, Lana? Yes, I did. Okay. Any discussion beyond that? Roll call, please. Hannah Michael? Yes. Ritter? Yes. <clears throat> Lane? Yes. Murdoch? Yes. Thank you, Council. Motion carried. Okay. Our next item is to discuss lanes, review and discuss landscaping options for roundabout projects. Uh, yes, Council. We are. Um, 
almost 100% design on the roundabout project. We're on target for a January levy um, and, and obviously still on target for construction over the summer months. One of the last items of, of question is the landscaping improvements. Um, I had a fence provide us three different landscaping options, um, and these mostly are, are concentrated at the center island. Um, you know, there's several schools of thought about this, but I know that, that the overall kind of intent was that the Roundabout Project offers opportunities to showcase this as sort of a gateway entrance into the, into the community. So we didn't um, definitely want to have some sort of a beautification effort going on there. Um, and landscaping in terms of including those in project costs are a really good way to get that jump started. Uh, nothing else for but to get it paid for. Um, so they provided three options um, for consideration. The, um, from a traffic impact standpoint, the, the guidance is that there is, um, there's a spot in the center uh, of the center island where you could completely obstruct the view all the way to the all the way to the sky and it wouldn't have an impact on sight lines to the right but um, I told them to go ahead and keep these landscaping elements at such a level that they don't grow up and, and cause any any visual sight line issues so um, the first option there has plantings in the center and then they also have some plantings down um, Sort of the southeast quadrant of the of the roundabout there, as you can see, I'm pointing my, my cursor. Um, this would include uh, the welcome to DeSoto sign would be placed at that location, and then the landscaping would fill up the center island. The second two options have that welcome sign in the center of the of the, of the roundabout. So. Um, option one there or, or two and option three you know I, I don't know that i'm looking for specific feedback on the planning types of varieties you know if you have that I'd be happy to take that into consideration but i know it's it's a it's a project of of citywide importance and it's pretty high profile so we want to have this discussion because i know there's some um some expectation that there's going to be some duplication at we do have in the design, um, we'll, we'll send water out to the center island and we will have an irrigation system installed with the project so that uh, so that we don't have to go out there with watering trucks. But uh, landscaping is um, an ongoing continuous effort. Um, and and so we've, I've involved Jake with this because my thought was Parks and Recs people are gonna be out there, the ones doing the landscaping and this will require probably more attention than any other landscaping that we've got around the city, including some of the stuff in the parks. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll want to be out there maybe even on a weekly, certainly on a monthly basis, um, tending to this. So I've asked for low maintenance uh, materials. Um, I'm no expert on planning materials, but they tell me these are all kind of low low maintenance what they've selected here um so i wanted to get your feedback general thoughts on that in addition to the center island i think there also might be some opportunities around the periphery for some landscaping or some other beautification efforts and i've shown just those areas here in green on this figure and then lastly um you'll remember this year we we, we kind of adopted the policy for the public art um, with the DeSoto Arts Council to have temporary public art displays at locations around the city. Um, I, I don't think that within exact boundaries of the project, I, I'm not sure there's a great location for that, but you know, somewhere, somewhere close to this, maybe just to the north or just to the south, somewhere in the vicinity, there might be an opportunity for one of those. I would not want that in the center island, um, you know, but, but maybe somewhere near here. Um, if we're going to have this as a gateway sort of feature into the community. So I just wanted to get feedback on that. Um, like I said, we're very close to final plans and we want to get them out for bid in January. So this would kind of be that final check-in step uh, with the council. So okay. turn it over to you for some discussion. Questions from council? Thoughts on options? I'll chime in. Go ahead. Um, I'll kind of mix it up a little bit. I I like the sign outside of it. Um, I think 
I like that location there. I think it'd be better to have that. So I think that's too small of a sign to put in the middle of it. And by the time you're in the roundabout, you're going to be paying attention to what's going on. I like that. I like the sign coming up, but I don't like that um, landscape configuration. So I, I do get public input because I got my high school senior and his buddies got a chance to look at this tonight when I was looking at it. So we all vote for three. The baseball shape. <laughs> yeah, the baseball <laughs> with the sign. Yeah, on we the... all vote for number three, but with the sign on the outside. That's my that's my take. And, and you know, you talk about maintenance, and that one in particular, you know, they will age, you're going to maintain those two or three times through the through the season. Um, you know, the 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 holly, maybe you'll you'll trim it up in the in the spring to get the winter kill off of it. I think they're all really low maintenance. I don't. I don't know that you're really gonna. You probably gonna have as much weeds. of an issue of trash removal. Trash um, weeds, trash. Yeah, yeah, that's probably gonna be your biggest bags. Yeah, plastic bags. Yeah. 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 So I, I, I think they're they are all low maintenance. I think it's gonna be attractive. Uh, anyway, Great. that's my my two cents. Lori, I really didn't have anything different than that. Um, I do also like the sign outside of it. And um, if I had spoken before Kevin, I still would have said the third one is the arrangement or the plants anyway that I liked. Um, and the combination of them together. So, but I, you know, I don't really okay. care which one we do. <laughs> but I do like the sign outside. And I'm not too sure about um, the Spartan and Juniper's they see. Mm -hmm. I don't know how tall those get. Seeing that, I'm really not sure that would be something we want in there. And again, a personal opinion on Juniper's, but if you plant, how many you got? Two, four, six, eight, nine of them. I guarantee you, three of them are going to go back. You know, <laughs> you're always going to end up with one or two of them in there is going to have a problem. That's just... yeah. The third option seems to have the easiest. And they grow really well here with low maintenance. So those plants separate. So great. Well, we've got the purple ones in the day lilies, so mm -hmm. I, I know that those would work for old. Yeah. With limited uh right. limited <laughs> care care. <laughs> they do well. Uh, uh Danny, any thoughts? No, well, I'm I remember when we went through one while we were on vacation, they had a uh, kind of a diamond. Um, in the center and uh, on three, then this was a three-sided uh, deal that had one that said, welcome to um, um, Fort Myers. And then the other side said, uh, had a picture of their high school mascot and the other side had their city logo on it. And it was a three-sided kind of a diamond figure that was only probably in the center maybe two feet high and it just you read it at it was at an angle and um it was made of it looked like some kind of a plastic uh, kind of thing that looked white and um you know i don't know if we could do something like that or maybe it would be better to make something like that that's not that tall and yet it's at an angle and um Maybe something like that's a thought too, where there's no flowers out there or, or plants to take care of. Okay. Kevin Ritter. Uh, yes, sir. I uh, I have kind of the same thoughts as Kevin. I uh, I liked number three, but I did like the the sign um, on the outside. So um, out of the three options, I like number three the best with with uh, putting the sign somewhere else. Okay. I think that's very good feedback. Appreciate that. Yeah. Um, I think that's enough for us to wrap up the plans. All righty. We didn't cool. forget anybody, did we? All right. Moving on, then. We will approve the 2020 budget amendment. Yeah, same uh, ordinance or what, what, same as before. So it's actually it's not an ordinance. Um, if we could just have 
a motion to approve as presented. Okay. And then I have the state budget forms that I'm going to hand around. So I'll need to. Uh, your signatures, and then we'll have to figure out how to get um, Danny's and Kevin's signatures on that. Uh, we need to get it into the county by the end of the year. So we'll figure that out. Don't sign until you oh, make yeah. a motion, though. Like a motion. <laughs> I'd like to make a motion we um, approve the budget amendments increase in the maximum 2020 expenditures for general revenues and water funds as presented. Second. All right. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Lane? Yes. Ritter? Yes. Murdoch? Yeah. Hannah Michael. Yes. Thank you, Council. Motion carried. All right. Item five, executive session. We do not have one tonight, so we'll move to advisory reports. Mike, what do you have? For um, us? Just a few quick things. Uh, end of year wrap up stuff we're doing here internally. Um, CARES Act projects mostly. We've submitted for reimbursement on 100% of our internal CARES Act projects. Uh, we expect to get that checked by the end of next week. So that's good. We'll be we'll be whole on our expenditures and revenues for that. On the broadband uh, CARES Act, RG Fiber has been out there working. I don't know if you've been able to see them. They're a little bit past you, but they've been out there with a rock drill. And uh, Mike Bosch says by the end of next week, they'll be in a position where I can go verify the installation and get that wrapped up as well. So uh, very happy about that. Um, so it looks like all the CARES Act stuff will be um, in and uh, at least submitted for reimbursement to the county. And it looks like that uh, second half of the broadband probably won't be reimbursed until uh, January, but that's that's fine. Um, so that's very happy about that. That took a lot of effort on our part to get those projects in and up and rolling and and done. I want to thank um, Steve Chick for his efforts with some of that. The HVAC stuff, especially, was the biggest project. Um, so it has to be. It has to be paid by the end of the month. Right? Yeah, by yeah. December 30th. Yeah, we yeah, have okay. to. We have to pay the vendors and submit to the county for reimbursement by December 30th. Yeah. Yeah. I did drive. I, I went down Waverly today, and there's conduit sticking out of 115. Yeah. Yeah. There's sections in there where they couldn't get through the roads. Yeah. The same old story. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, and they've got customers on Kill Creek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've been uh, Zoom has been hooking up customers for a month now. Yeah, they, they really well. They were already going that you know, they had already had a start on it. Um, so I'm you know really happy about that. Um, the county's been pretty good to work with on that process too. You know, for them it was it was quite an effort administratively countywide to figure out what to do with 116 million dollars. They did a pretty good job. They did a pretty good job with it. So. Um, it was just, you know, one of those, add that to the list of things you didn't expect to be doing this year. Uh, you know, I think everybody was able to adjust pretty well. Um, the other thing, just uh, just kind of a, a precursor, uh, at the January 7th meeting, um, planning on having the discussion on our CIP, uh, CIP update and strategic plan update. So uh, I'll be working on getting information for that. For that. Uh, for that meeting here the last couple of weeks of, a, of the year. Um, and that's uh, that's it for me. Okay. City Attorney. Yeah, just wanted to let you guys know the judge did hold the the virtual hearing on the, the house at 8225 Delaware. Um, neither one of the defendants appeared, so I'm expecting the judge to sign off on the default judgment any day now. So. I think uh, Steve Chick already has at least one bid uh, for demolishing the house, but as you would indicate, we'll bring that back to the council um, before before we move forward on that. So. Okay. Anything else? Nope. All right. it. City Clerk. I have nothing further except to wish all of you a very happy holiday season. Council. Kevin Ritter, anything for the group tonight? I don't believe so, Mayor. I think I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Danny, anything to share? No, thank you, Mayor. Just everybody have a great holiday.
All right, thank you. Lori? Yeah, you know, I just really wanted to take a moment and kind of um, reflect back on the year and, you know, just kind of comment that it was something that we never expected and something that um, we really don't want to ever have to go through again, but it is the way it is now and moving forward. And, you know, I feel that we as a city still got a lot accomplished um, for what we were going through. Um, we did a lot of positive things out of what we had. And um, I think, you know, a lot of that, we even, there was a lot of things even behind the scenes that were going on that, you know, a lot of people don't know about some of the economic development efforts and stuff. And, and you know, I just really, really want to, you know, just say thank you to, you know, the mayor and Mike, because, you know, what you guys got done this year is just really amazing. I know there's other cities that aren't doing as well and probably are you know, having some turmoil and stuff, but we fought through it and um, we did a lot. We made the best of everything. And um, I think we'll be moving into next year with some good outlooks and be able to be pretty stable and start working on projects and continuing what didn't even really get put on hold. And that's pretty amazing that we really did a lot of stuff. So thank you both of you and all the council members, um, um, Patrick and all the staff really. You know, I just think that they deserve a great pat on the back and, and Mike, you especially, um, I know we tell you this all the time, but, you know, not everybody can handle things as well as you did. I really, really appreciate what you have done and get the city going. So oh, thank you. Thank um, you very so much. Anyway, and Merry Christmas to everyone and looking forward to giving you guys a shot next year. <laughs> thank you, Lauren. Yeah, looking forward to that shot. Yeah. <laughs> two, two of them, right? Yeah, yeah. Two, 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 two. two of them each, uh -huh. one in each. No, no. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you. Kevin? Um, wow, second. I mean, that, that was great. I kind of feel that I lost for going after that. But I, really, just a question. I've noticed on social media kind of a rash of break ins, it sounds like. Um, just hopefully, a, you know, the sheriff's department's given yeah. adequate attention to, you know, one, following up on that, but also being sensitive to crime in our community and it sounds like several cars were broken into kind yeah. of in the downtown area yeah. so hopefully yeah. they can get hopefully they're giving that attention definitely that and we've had uh, just a lot more vandalism around this year than i think the break-ins are separate but mm -hmm. this year the vandalism the graffiti and the start of the fires and the current burning and the ruts in the soccer field they've just been a lot more of that sort of activity it seems like i did get uh the sheriff's report for uh, November um, earlier this week, and um, from a traffic impact, the tickets are up and uh, accidents are down. So that's always kind of the way you want to see the trend going. But things like burglaries and and property damage and you know, property crimes are up. So uh, definitely something we've had. I've had discussions with uh, our new liaison, uh, Chip Martinez, who's the patrol captain now. Um, had those discussions with him too. Any of them? Also, wanted to thank the mayor. I know you you all got copied on the speed the speeding issue on Wyandotte Street. Um, Sheriff's office was very responsive to that. Um, you know, put out you know they're going to be put in, putting out the speed trailer that shows your speed and flashes at them. It's not quite available yet. But they put out a data recorder. So um, I guess all that is to say you know we're still pretty happy about the sheriff's office and their response and. And just how do they respond when things like that occur, especially? And yeah, we're, we're looking into that that too. Yeah, thanks. So I have, uh, just to, to carry on that. So Mike and I were having these exchanges about the speeding thing on the uh, on blind dot. And I got this like like five minutes after I sent Mike the last email. I got this marketing email from a company that sells speed limit signs with. The uh, radar detection that yeah. posts your finger. <laughs> yeah. I got his Google. It's deep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. It's that, uh, have to think it. That's scary. <laughs> yeah. That fire eye or whoever it is that got hacked. Yeah. Well, I shared that with Mike and it was like, she whiz. I never <laughs> hadn't experienced that level. You know, like you do a search mm -hmm. and immediately get every third. Everything shows up in a Facebook feed or something, but they read man, an email exchange and yeah. yeah. when. <laughs> All right. 
Um, he didn't buy one, did you? Yeah, no, I'm thinking about it though. We might get a couple, three of those. Oh, yeah, put them around. Solar powered. Um, the I do have one piece of business. Um, we have a uh, vacancy on our board of zoning appeals right now. We don't have any pending business, but we have a vacancy. And I have uh, recruited someone to step in and take that position. Um, Doug Pickert has stepped away from that spot. And uh, so I would like uh, your approval of my appointment of Lex Melowski to the Board of Zoning Appeals. Uh, Lex, kind of new to the area. He's been here about five years, but in, in those terms, but he's my neighbor behind me and I've gotten to know him over the last couple of years. So local business guy and uh, you do a great job there. So I would ask for uh, an approval of my appointment of Lex. Y'all make that motion to Lex. Mel Whiskey. Whiskey. I'll second that. All right, we have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, thank you, everybody. Um, I don't have anything else to tonight, I don't believe, other than just to echo the uh, wishes, good wishes for a uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and uh, see you next year. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, we're adjourned. Very good. Thank you, everybody. Do you want to just...